I want to tell you a story. A story of a modern mansion that's now beginning to be consumed by nature. Moreover, this mansion is being consumed by corruption, greed, the misuse of power, and the illusion of social prestige. The story goes like this. The 7,000 square foot home was built in the early 2000s by a married couple who, in the local community, were highly regarded. The husband was a wealthy real estate broker. His wife, an ambitious politician who had dreams of running for local mayor of the county. But in 2014, things took a bad turn in their marriage, resulting in a nasty divorce. After fighting over the property, they finally came to a settlement, and the wife won the mansion. Then, as luck would have it, the ex-husband suddenly dies just one year after the divorce. Eager to begin the next chapter of her life and upcoming political campaign, she hoped the secrets of their estate would die along with her late ex-husband. This is where the scandal began. What's up guys, Jeremy from Abandoned Nashville, back again with another exploration. So today we're exploring this mansion it's somewhere in Tennessee. I don't wanna give the exact location of this place just to protect the property. So a little bit about it. In 2016, the original owner of this mansion was running for political office. When it was discovered that she owed over half a million dollars in back taxes, which she claimed was accrued by her late husband, and she had no prior knowledge of this debt. So as you can imagine, this absolutely destroyed her campaign and she was forced to file bankruptcy. Long story short, the home was foreclosed and at the time it was valued for over $3 million. Ever since then, it's been sitting abandoned and it's only a matter of time until this place is wrecked beyond repair. At any rate, I'm gonna get into this video. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, let me know in the comments below what you think and uh, yeah, let's hop to it. This is the long driveway leading up to the mansion. So from the front, it doesn't look that big, but then when you get inside, you realize how massive this place is. Man, this is crazy. I can't believe this is just abandoned like this. I say that every time, but it never ceases to amaze me how wasteful humans can be. Wow, look at this living room. Could you imagine just living in a house like this? It's so gaudy. Nice balcony view in the living room. I love these wraparound stairs right here. Oh, so cool. Let's see what all's in this house. So down here, I imagine this was like some kind of entertainment room. We got like a bar, a wine rack. Still got the club sodas that makes up some cocktails. Got a cocktail mixer. Got a fancy fridge. But there was like a couch here, a big TV there, probably like a surround sound system in here at one point. It's nice and dark, kind of like a theater room. This is probably the dining room. 
Man, look at the ceiling in this place. I forgot what this is called. I think it's called like gold foil or something like that. This wasn't cheap. They spent some money painting these ceilings. Like look at the architecture in this place. Big fan, big fan of that ceiling. Man, look at the ceiling in this kitchen. What? That is not a cheap paint job. So I posted some photos of this place and everyone was asking about the fruit on the kitchen table. This is fake fruit. I imagine it was probably up there along with these other decorations at one point or it was placed here to stage the house for maybe real estate photos. More VHS. Got some plates. A big brass, very heavy platter. Found the pantry. Yep, I found the pantry. Like still boxes of cereal. Pretty much all the stuff you would expect in a pantry. This is probably definitely the laundry room. Kind of, kind of uninteresting. So I imagine the master bedroom is down this hall here. Big Banks over here joining me on this exploration today. What's Big YouTuber over here. What? Look at this ceiling. Again, this was not cheap. Look how it changes colors as you move across the room. This was a custom paint job that probably cost so much money. It's so gaudy. And of course, being a photographer, I find architectural imperfections. Look how the ceiling doesn't match the doorway. It doesn't line up with the doorway. Also, here, it doesn't line up with the bed. Honestly, if I lived here, that would really bother me. Have like a fireplace. Probably a big TV right here above the fireplace. Bottles of whatever with gold flakes in it. Just still left here. I love the lighting above. It's very like art deco-y. 1930s. You have to have a salt lamp. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this column. How the light just reflects off it. It's so trippy. Still like soaps and stuff left in these bottles. It's like a bottle of shampoo over there. Stand-up shower, look at all this. The soap, all that stuff still left behind. So check this closet out. There's so much clothes still left behind. All the stuff still here, and you know some of the stuff's worth money.
just fully stocked in here. And look at this. All of these shoes still left behind. It's crazy, like you would think that they would just put all this stuff in bins and like move it to their new place. But I guess when your idea or your sense of value is so far removed from, you know, the average person, I guess you can just leave this kind of stuff here and probably doesn't even really bother you to do so. Hold on, what is this? Ha, <laughs> it's the fancy ass purse. You like carry this to dinner parties. You take this to the Grammys. That is the Grammy purse. Just nonchalant, a chandelier in the bathroom like this. Again, just so much clothes still left behind. Suit jackets, all these skirts, dresses, gowns, silks. Like, I don't get how you can just leave this stuff behind. Look at this. Tag Hewer. So, these are about five to $15,000 watches that come in these boxes. Can't get over this master bedroom. Also, check it out. So you wake up out of bed, you can just walk out the back door, 10 yards, you can just dip into the pool. Now we have another bathroom. Very random, I think I've counted like seven bathrooms so far. So we have another bedroom. Look at this. Look at his bed. Like what? This is just some rich folk shit. <laughs> like what? It is a cool room though. So I think this is the eighth bathroom, if I'm counting correctly that I've found so far. Maybe it's the seventh. Again, another bathroom. And the lighting in this house is pretty amazing at this time of day. I love how open it is, how many windows there are, how much sun comes in. Now let's go upstairs. view of the living room. This looks like a big old empty room. Ooh, with a balcony. And what a view. Crazy, I still smell like perfume and like soap. This still is a fairly like fresh, freshly abandoned place. There used to be a chandelier at one point. So either that was taken out by the original owner or someone scrapped it, which is 
pretty common. I can just feel the heat just like shooting out of that attic. We'll go across the hall, see what's over here. Once again, another bedroom with a ton of clothes in here. Another balcony. Ha, huh, look at this, an old camcorder. And a cassette tape. Haven't seen one of those in a minute. Some old school stuff. Looks like a gerbil cage. I imagine this was uh, like a teenage girl's room. Should go out back, check out the pool. Yeah, like I said, so when this house was foreclosed, it was valued at $3 million. Well, a little over $3 million. The amount of money that it would take to restore this place, completely renovate it again and get this pool going up again, probably get a new roof on this place, repair all the concrete and all the tile damage. It's just, it would be hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's just senseless, you know? I just don't understand why, like, places like this just sit abandoned. A perfectly good home is now left to ruin. I think out of, out of most of the places that I go, this one really is a story of just waste. And it's senseless, it's absolutely senseless. It's over ego, it's over money, greed, power. I mean, we've seen this type of thing for thousands of years. And it's like, I'm not even above it. Like, I would like to think that if I had money like this, the same thing wouldn't happen to me, but I don't know. Am I above it? Probably not. This is coming into the kitchen. Here's a four car garage. Looks like they had a garage sale at one point for when they were moving out. There's even a big flat screen TV back there. Like I can't help but like get a little irritated when I come across a place like this. It looks like yard sale to the max. The person that lived here, they got in all that trouble. I think, I think they took off in a hurry. But it still doesn't make any sense of like why all this stuff's still here. Like why didn't it get donated? What is this? I think I just found a flask. Oof, yeah. That's gin. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Some more decoration. This is like, this is woodwork. Decor. Got a big leather couch. Christmas decorations. I'm like disturbed at the amount of waste in this one house. Damn. This thing is heavy. This is a big chunk of wood. We've pretty much explored every nook and cranny of this place. So this is the old barn. They kept horses. Like, look how pretty it is out here. So this has, this has to be like a courtyard type of thing. Yeah. I've never seen stables before at a place, so this is my first time. Yeah, first for me too. 
I saw them a lot growing up in Kentucky, but never in an abandoned building. All these birds in here. Wow. So this is the guest house. Which I don't get why there's a guest house in the barn. I guess. Yeah, you would think that it would like smell like horseshit in here. The living rooms. Everything's still here though. Like it's been ransacked, but like, dude, it's just so crazy that like the TV and VCR stuff like that, Comcast, it's all still here. How old is that TV? That's a that's a way over TV. Yeah, it is. There's a table in here. Bed frame still in here. So I think these are horse, uh, what are they called? They go over the horses to keep them warm? Yeah, yeah. It's like a, I don't know what you call it, it's a specific name for it. Yeah, it's there's... Like a, it's like a coat for a horse. Yeah. Whole kitchen area. In the barn, guys. Chandelier. HVAC unit. Washer and dryer, bathtub, full sink area, <laughs> a hair curler. Look how tall he is. <laughs> like, I'm 5'11. <laughs> Carter towers over me. <laughs> Am I one of the tallest explorers ever? Dude, I think you are the tallest explorer <laughs> ever. <laughs> Which is probably an advantage. Yeah. So we're coming back into the backyard of the house from the barn. Man, look at this pool. This is a pretty deep pool too. I imagine this is like 12, 15 feet. It's a diving board. This is just luxury. And I think this is a chicken coop next to the pool, which is very random. I don't think I'd want to like be swimming in the pool and like have a chicken coop next to it, but whatever, teach his own. All right, guys, thanks so much for uh, joining me on this exploration. I got my buddy Big Banks here. Follow him on YouTube, Big Banks. See you guys on next time. See you guys on next time. Just say, just say see you guys next time and cut it. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining me on this exploration. I have my buddy Big Banks on Instagram. No. Because it's just awkward because you have to act like you're talking to somebody. Yeah. yeah it's a big old cicada. Be free. All right, guys, thanks so much for, uh, uh, I'm way <laughs> overthinking it. Thanks for joining me on this exploration. I got my buddy Big Banks on YouTube and Big Explorers on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Dude, I give up. I'm not going to do an outro.